Okay, we're called out to this Citroen C crosser for a non starter. First thing we're going to do is have a look inside. Come down to the underneath here. I've got our OBD scanner in, so that's ready. You can hear that beeping. So. We haven't even looked at it yet, so we're going to be doing the same as you. So it's cranking, but no start. So we're going to go on Citroen. Now we're going to run a scan on the vehicle. We're looking at the engine module and see what the faults are there. Engine speed signal and the preheating circuit. So we're going to pop the bonnet and have a look underneath the engine, see if we can locate this uh, sensor, engine speed signal sensor, so it would be the crankshaft position sensor, P0336. Here's the engine, we're going to have a quick look around, see if we can locate where it is. First we'll get this engine cover up, so just give it a yank on each corner. Okay, we've got rodents in the car, uh, and you look here, you've got droppings, and they've been chewing on all of this, so chances are they may have been chewing on the wiring to the crankshaft sensor, or the main wiring loom, so we're going to have a quick look around at that. Clear some of this away. Let's see if we can f see any damage down in here. So here we've got the front wheel off, now we're going to have a look behind this plastic at the crank pulley and hopefully the crank centre is behind there. Now we've located the crankshaft centre and we've undone the plug here and we're sticking a probe into it. And we're getting 3.5 volts should be on five but it's close enough we know there's power there so perhaps the rodents aren't to blame and it's just a dodgy sensor so we'll look at replacing this here we have the old sensor and here is a new replacement and we are here under the driver's wheel In place there, you got a little grommet there where it sits on. Then we can get our bolt. Put that in place. And in 
this case we have a 10 millimeter socket. Put it on there and tighten it up. Press the plug in place. Here we are back inside. We're gonna set back up our diagnostics. And we are back where we were. So if we press clear, I'm not too sure if that's gonna work because the diagnostic machine was disconnected for just over an hour while we went to collect the part. Read it. No codes detected. Now is the moment of truth. Get our key in the ignition. And we have an instant start. So a great result there. And service inspection is due. So that's all sorted on that one today. Nice, quick and easy solution. And if you're looking at something similar yourself, obviously that's probably why you're here looking at the video. And I hope it helps you. Thank you and goodbye.